Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Susan Kurtz, and I'm going to be talking to you today about XR, which is virtual reality, augmented reality, um, mixed reality, and 360. I am an emerging technology subject matter expert with advertising production resources. So here is our agenda for our class. And we're unit one, we're going to talk about a little intro about what it, it is we're talking about. Um, unit two, we're going to talk about the importance of VR and, and this new medium. Uh, number three, we're going to talk about the production and how it applies to advertising production. And number four, we're going to talk about some of the challenges. So let's dive right in. So why are we talking about virtual reality? Well, you know, it's really difficult to explain because it's an experiential medium. You almost have to take everything you know about broadcast and digital and, and put it aside because this is a new medium and a new form of storytelling. So trying to make a traditional film or commercial fit into uh, a virtual reality form of storytelling is never going to work. So keep an open mind. Now, the purpose of VR is to really replace your reality with something new, like a computer-generated environment. And it could be a game you're playing or some world you're walking around in. Or it could be you know, something that's playing all around you. But the idea is to really trick your brain into thinking that that's your new reality. And how do they do this? Well, they do this by taking over your sight. So much like they use headphones to take over your sense of sound, you know, we use a headset to take over your vision. And it all started actually with the Air Force as part of their flight training program and their flight simulator. So obviously it's much easier and cheaper to have pilots practicing and flying and, and shooting things and ejecting and crashing, hopefully not, um, on a simulator rather than on a multi-million dollar aircraft. So that's a place where virtual reality makes a lot of sense. However, you know, companies now are making these new personal VR experiences that you can just buy and use for your own entertainment. All you have to do is hold it up to your face. So what makes VR um, so impressive is that you are totally immersed into this world. So like with, with the headphone example I used, when you can't hear anything else other than the music you're listening to with VR, you're essentially blindfolded and dropped into this entire new world with whatever the artist decides to create. 